Are you a Capital One card holder looking to be fancy inside the airport? Well, if so, I have some good news. Now you can. Not long ago, Capital One launched their all new airport lounge concept called the Capital One Lounge. And as I make this video, there are currently three locations announced, one of which is open, the one at DFW, and I actually went there. In fact, I've now been there four times and on one of those visits, I did a little bit of a vlog style video showing you a tour of the inside of the lounge with the different amenities, food options, rest areas, and more. So in this video, here, I'll be showing you some of the clips that I took from that inside of the lounge tour at the DFW location. Plus, we'll talk about those different amenities, how you can get in and the different levels of access, plus an overall review of what you can expect while going into that lounge. And I'll even add a little bonus at the end of this video showing you how you can put a digital pass right on your phone and that way you can get in with your phone rather than having to carry your credit card with you all the time. So with all that out of the way, now let's talk about how you can find a luxury oasis inside of the airport brought to you by Capital One. One. Regarding the amenities inside the Capital One Lounge, they may vary by location as more locations open up over time, but in general, you'll be able to find at least a good handful of the following. Comfortable seating, high-speed Wi-Fi, dining stations slash cooked meals, grab-and-go food if you want to just get out to your gate really quickly and don't have a lot of time to spend. There's a bar that serves alcoholic beverages like wine, beer, and cocktails. Also, coffee bars or coffee stations to get your caffeine fits in the morning. If you want to be productive, there are also quiet zones to work, plus some relaxation rooms, luggage lockers, that way you don't have to worry about anything being stolen or having to carry your suitcase everywhere you go throughout the lounge. There are charging ports everywhere in case you want to power up your devices like your phones, tablets, laptops, and more. If you want to get a little bit of a workout in, you might find some cycle or yoga rooms or other fitness uh, areas around the lounge. And you'll also probably find some shower suites if you want to clean up a little bit in between long international flights, which is really, really nice. Plus there are family and parent areas in case you have young children and also multi-faith rooms. No doubt there's a lot to enjoy here, whether you want to eat, drink, and be social, or be productive, or even relax a bit. So with all that context now in place, let me give you my inside look at the tour inside of the DFW location. Warning, what you're about to witness is way better than the airport terminal, at least most of the time. All right, so first, how to find the lounge. Once you arrive in Terminal D at DFW, go around the gate areas until you see D22, and then you'll see this big uh, tower type of structure where you've got the Capital One Lounge and American Flagship Lounge together in the same space. So walk ahead and go through the double glass sliding doors, and you'll see a nice lobby area. This is neither of the two lounges, rather just a nice place to sit and relax if you want to. You'll see some elevators that will take you right to the lounges. So enter into the elevators, and the button that says clubs is not actually a button at all. So click on the normal person button and then proceed through the elevator. And when you see the inside, there'll be a few different options there. Click the one that says club on level five. Upon arriving, you'll see the Capital One Venture Lounge to your left and the American Flagship Lounge to your right. So proceed left, pull out your eligible credit card and talk with that front desk agent there and they'll help you get checked in. Now on to the good stuff. So here's kind of the main area in the back here. They have plenty of uh, nice open windows windows to view planes taking off and landing, some nice kind of mid-size bar stool seating uh, where you can you know, have your food, have your drinks, etc. And then a big cube here in the middle with four different walls. This wall shows you all the different drinks and beverages like cola, root beer, water, and more. Um, and in the middle here they have like a little ice machine with some glasses and cups more seating, cool artwork and plants toward the back there. It's kind of a more quiet area behind these little bars. And then we have some beautiful uh, food here, which are uh, desserts, of course. We got some brownies, all the stuff to serve yourself at the bottom with the trays. We have cannolis here, which were really, really good. Um, some, uh, what is this, um, charcuterie boards. Again, silverware, napkins, boards, plates on the bottom, and the food's on the top. Here's that quiet space, plenty of places to sit down, charge your gear as well. Notice the little charging ports uh, underneath every single chair everywhere, which is wonderful. More places to sit. There's some of the grab and go amenities to your right, plus the coffee bar as well. Then on your left-hand side is some more grab and go items, like some trail mix. Um, we have some refrigerated goods, like sandwiches, wraps, juices, and more. Uh, take whatever you like from there, some fruit. 
plus more seating areas. Then along this side, we have kind of the pastries like muffins, croissants, bagels, uh, etc. here. Then directly opposite of that, we have some prepared dishes, which are typically hot plates. This is the bibimbap, a great Korean dish, plus some curried lentils, which are also very good. Moving on a bit further down here, we also have mac and cheese uh, with some bacon bits mixed in. Um, what else do we have here? The peach granola bowl was phenomenal, by the way. Uh, chicken pot pie, top notch, very, very tasty. And overall simple ingredients, pretty clean food as well. Now, as we continue to walk down this back hallway, this is where you'll find some other amenities, uh, especially the bathrooms and the uh, yoga, cycling rooms, etc. So there's a nice little menu or wall here telling you where things are. So follow me down this hallway just a little bit further here. You got some janitorial stuff. Uh, you don't wanna go down down those staircases or any of that's uh, off limits. But here we have the uh, yoga room and the relaxation room available upon request. Uh, so again, check in the front desk if you wanna rent one of these back room type of facilities to get your workout in, or if you wanna de-stress in the relaxation room right here. Again, those on a reservation type of basis. Plus a nursing room further bit down here, we got another relaxation room, again, uh, via reservation. And over here, we have the multi-faith room as well, and a second multi-faith room. Those were temporarily closed when I went there. They should be open by now as well. Oh, here's a shower suite. Uh, I can check in with the front desk for those too. And here's the lovely kitchen where all your food gets prepared. And finally, cutting over to the restrooms over here, they're all single occupancy, so you never have to worry about privacy being an issue. They are beautifully laid out, usually with some soft background music playing, super clean, well-maintained, mirrors, soap, everything that you need, so uh, A plus rating for that. Now, since some of the areas were behind locked doors, that's because yeah, it was basically on a reservation basis, so if you want to use a shower suite or perhaps a cycle room, you just have to ask the front desk uh, and they'll grant you access. So I also have a few more pictures here from Capital One to illustrate some more of these concepts a bit closer and with more detail and also show some of the things that I wasn't able to show you on my personal walkthrough. So here's an example of the relaxation room and they have these really cool space cubicle looking type of lounge chairs in there with like sound protective or sound muting walls or shields that can wrap around yourself and kind of block out uh, the hustle and bustle of A, the airport, and B, the lounge itself, in case it happens to be a bit crowded at that time. So those are really cool, unique experience that you might wanna try if you have the opportunity to do so. And as for those shower suites, you don't have to worry about bringing all your own amenities in unless you want to. So all the stuff like shampoo, conditioner, soap, etc., is provided for you. Now, let's talk about some locations. To reiterate, only the one at DFW or Dallas-Fort Worth is open as I record this video in late October 2022. However, Capital One has already announced Washington Dulles, IAD, and Denver, DEN, both coming in 2023. And also there are more on the way because this network is still very, very new. And of course, Capital One wants to build it out to allow a lot more travelers to experience their new lounge product. If you're interested in visiting the one at DFW, the current hours are 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily, seven days a week. And the location is in Terminal D near Gate 22. And you can access it via via the Skylink or the tram uh, in case you happen to be at a different terminal and you want to come over to D to experience a lounge for a while and then go back to wherever you need to be for your flight. In other words, all those terminals are connected airside. So you can go from A, B, C, D, and E via that Skylink tram and you don't have to worry about going in and out of security multiple times like you might have to do at some other airports. Up next, let's talk about how you can get into the lounge. Part one will be all about the credit cards here, starting with the Venture X credit card as well as the Spark Travel Elite credit card, which is on the business side. So if you have either of these two card products, you'll be given unlimited complimentary access, which means you can use the lounge as many times as you'd like without any additional out-of-pocket cost. You can also bring two guests with you per visit for no additional charge and additional guests beyond that. So starting with guest number three, those will be $45 each. I know nobody wants to pay for additional guests, but it's likely part of Capital One's efforts to preserve a nice elevated experience and avoid overcrowding because if everybody got in for free, well, it probably would not last too long in terms of a nice space to be. The next level of of access is via the Venture Rewards card and the Spark Miles cards. At this level, you're given two complimentary visits per calendar year, then $45 per visit after that. These visits are kind of like day passes, if you will, and you can use a pass either yourself as the primary card holder, or your guests can use them, or your authorized users of your Venture card, for example, can also use them too. Then in terms of the guesting privileges that you'll receive, each guest is $45 each after those two passes have been used. Finally, all other card 
card holders, whether it's a Capital One card or a card from another bank, you'll then have to just pay the standard pass rate, which is $65 per person. Now for part two of how to get in, which represents the steps you'll take in the real world to actually gain access. And you saw a little bit of that in the very beginning of my video tour. Step one is to present your eligible credit card or digital pass to the front desk. Step two is to present your boarding pass and all guest boarding passes to the front desk agent as well. And all those boarding passes must be for a departing or connecting flight on the same day. Stated differently, this is a departure only lounge. You cannot use it upon arrival. And third, children under two years of age may enter for free with a supervising parent or guardian. And regarding that digital pass that I mentioned, let me show you mine right now on my Apple Wallet app and covering up the QR code with a sticky note. That way you can't get in showing a freeze frame of my YouTube video, which would be pretty awesome by the way. Uh, anyway, here's my pass. That way I don't have to worry about carrying my credit card all the time. I just literally pop this up, show it to the front agent, and they can scan it and get right in. And same with my guests. So let me show you how to add this to your phone as well for that convenience factor. We'll start with the Venturettes credit card. First step is to open up your Capital One app and tap on the Venturettes card. On the next screen, you'll see the dashboard for that card. So tap on your rewards miles balance and then you'll be brought to the third screen where you wanna tap on Adventure Awaits, which will bring you into basically the mobile version of the Capital One Travel Portal and access all your benefits there. Once you're in the Capital One Travel section, you'll see a couple tabs there at the top. The first is Overview, which is on by default. So tap on the Lounges tab, and then you'll see a scrollable list of the locations as they continue to open up over time. And on the very top, it tells you your level of access, which in this case, it says you have unlimited free access with your Venture X card. View View pass. Simply tapping on that blue view pass button will reveal that digital pass. You can then save it to your mobile wallet, which you can see on that final screenshot there, add to Apple wallet. It also reminds you of your guesting privileges for a two free guests per visit, as well as your access as unlimited. Then if you have the Venture Rewards card, it's a very similar process. Open up the Capital One app, tap on the Venture card, then select your Rewards Miles Balance, and then the Adventure Awaits section again. Once you're brought to the Capital One Travel Portal, tap on the Lounge tab and again view pass there at the very top. This time it says you have two free lounge visits remaining with your venture card and that count will go down to one and then basically zero once you've used up your passes. So tap on view pass here and then shows you that same uh, overall look. You can add it to Apple Wallet. It reminds you uh, how many free visits you have for you, your guests, your authorized users. Also the expiration date, they do expire at the end of every year, so they do not roll over by the way, use them up. And of course that QR code there at the top for the front desk agent to scan. And that is all you need to be fancy with Capital One in the airport. And hopefully more often at more places as more locations open up in the near future. With all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit other people, then please help me get it in front of them by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on those notifications. That way you never never miss an awesome video upload about credit cards, travel, and more. Also check out the links down below in the description area to earn some more cash back when you shop online with Rakuten. That cash back also stats on top of your credit card rewards, by the way. To get $25 when you open a new SoFi checking and savings account and deposit just $10 or more. And to view my site with some great credit card offers that I've organized into different categories to help you find the cards that you like best. I thank you all for watching today's video. I hope it brought you some great value. I look forward to seeing you in future videvideos, and while you're waiting on my next upload, always remember that you are great.